Hello, I'm Carol Taylor Carney here at Pauline Arts, and I'm with Elena Lorenz, and we're standing in front of her absolutely gorgeous painting, and Elena's going to tell us a little something about it. This is a painting that was inspired by nature. I love birds, flowers, and I like bright colors. Uh, this painting has butterflies, hummingbirds, plants, and I wanted to group it into little squares so that it looks like um, a quilt. I love all these patchworks and this is, it was just fun to make it have little windows of something different. And you call this work? Mood. <laughs> Why do they call it mood? Because um, artists sometimes are moody. <laughs> they, create, <laughs> they create their pieces uh, when they're happy, when they're sad, because I think that painting is something that brings you brings you joy in you if you are not feeling good and then you paint and it kind of heals you and it also makes people who look at it happy or they, it brings different emotions in them that's why I was wondering if I could be a good idea to call it more but I, I, I think it's good. Oh I think it's excellent especially since you're saying about how you make this into a patchwork and I always think patchwork patchwork quilts What's more homey and makes you feel better and makes you feel better about being at home and all snuggled than looking at a painting that ties both nature and quilts together? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting way to see it. That's awesome. Yeah, I also like that not only do you have these natural pieces in here, the, the bluebird of happiness, of course, because I like to think about it, and the hummingbird and the butterfly, but you also have these beautiful patterns that you pick up and put in. So how does the idea of these patterns come in as you're also working from nature? Uh, I just love the patterns and I like to experiment with them, putting them next to each other in different different shapes. And you can see I have lots of circles. These are my favorite uh, pattern because it, it, it's, uh, it's just calming when you look at them. Um, what else did I want to say? <laughs> Well, you have such a great sense of color, too, mm -hmm. and I love that your email is Sublime Color uh, because you do have such um, vivid colors that you work with. How do you, like, is this a, pa a palette you work with a lot? How do you choose colors and things like that? It depends also on my, on my mood. <laughs> 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 yeah, sometimes I just want the colors to be calm and subdued. Sometimes I work just with blues. Um, I have recently worked with, I called it like blue period, not because I was sad, but because I was trying to study the different shades of blue. Here, they are not too bright, but at the same time, they're a little bit calm with this background, purple background. So that's how I started the piece. I just made it all in one tone, and then I just added colors to for them to stand out. Well, you're saying blue period, and then, of course, I have to think of Picasso. Mm -hmm. And, of course, all his blue period was very romantic. And there is something about romanticism in here in the way that you're connecting with nature. Did you think about the romantic period um, in art history um, when you were, were doing this that helped you tie these two things together? I, I thought about this, too, and also I was... I, I come from Moldova and it's a very sunny country and we have bright colors there. And when I just came to America, I was painting with red, yellow, and orange and they were really coming through. Yes. yes. <laughs> and sometimes people look at those colors and they're a little bit um, like afraid that they're too bright. And then it, it's a lot of worse, right? So I had too much heat in me. So <laughs> I started to paint with blues and more. Cool, cooler colors. So that's it. And experimenting with different uh, colors is, interest, is interesting. Just reds or just blues. And here I have like a different mix of colors. Well, I just finished reading a book um, called The Architectural Space. And um, what it's about is putting art into an architectural space. And uh, so he has these little rules. So you read a chapter and then he has his little rules written down. And it seems to me every chapter has, as one of the rules, use something blue. And I'm like, oh, look! Yes, there is a lot of blue here. That's true. Well, he says blue is a color of creativity, yeah. so yeah. makes sense. So you also have uh, these terrific birds 
uh, within the piece. And I know we were talking earlier that like you paint a lot of birds and you have, you have three little birdies of your own. Uh, do you use birds as a symbol for something or are you just like them or? Yes, the bird is a symbol of freedom. Mm -hmm. The bird likes to fly and explore. And, uh, I just, I just like to be free and I like freedom in art. It's like, it's like a spirit animal. Yeah. Well, butterflies are like that too. Uh, shorter length of life. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's just the way they yeah, flutter. Yeah, fragile. Like, the way that they flutter from thing to thing. It's almost like they're on a little exploration. And I think of that with birds too. Yeah, but birds are really directed. Birds are like, I'm on an adventure and this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. They know what they want. I like that about birds. So um, I also like that you, like a lot of these are bringing up other parts of nature. Like I feel like this is somehow water flowing or rain. I feel like these might have some rain coming off them. Um, so you, you not only think of the, the plants and the animals, it looks like you also think about the mood of nature. Right, it, it, those are drops of rain. And you know that when it rains, it makes you kind of sad. Sometimes when it, the weather is down, not in summer, but and all the jobs are in summer. So I wanted to make them more colorful so that for those who rain, it's a sad thing. So that it's, it's a happy <laughs> thing too. Like you can see. Rain can be beautiful. And and it makes rainbows. And it's reflective. Mm -hmm. So um, it's like nature sparkles. It makes everything glitter. Which, yeah. which is lovely. Which. <laughs> Is what this painting is. It's absolutely lovely, and you could see it going into so many different spaces in people's house. I could see this in the kitchen. I could see this in the living room. I could see this waking up to it every morning in my bedroom, making me happy. So <laughs> come to Palain Arts to see Elena's wonderful, wonderful piece named Mood from June second to August seventh. You got it. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.